Shut up, you guys. You got Shempy, and I'm bringing you this Jake Love video playing the Sacramento Kings here in Houston, Texas. Playing with a slightly depleted roster without Yao Ming. And still playing with Aaron Brooks as the starter. Kyle Lowry gets some time, but depending on when you start the season, which I started this pretty early, like right when the game came out. Rosters aren't up to date, but I'm going up against Tyreek Evans here. He's schooling me a little bit. You'll see him school me quite a bit in this game. And that forces me to answer a lot here, taking a three. Have a really quiet first quarter, you'll notice here. But this Kings team gives me a lot of trouble, and Bino Udre takes the three. Man in his face, doesn't matter. He's really a pretty solid point guard. He's a little inconsistent for my liking. But you're going to see a lot of that this game. Uh, that's Luis Scola. Just get him the ball, let him go to work. If nothing's working, uh, which typically happens, I can't make a lot of space for myself because I don't have a lot of speed or a lot of quickness. So early on, I'm looking for my teammates to make plays, and specifically Louis Scola, um, taking a solid fade away from the post here, and trying to work the fast break a little bit, finding uh, Jordan Hill who gets blocked, and it seems like whenever I throw it down to him, he's like a black hole, as Mancake has said with uh, Andrew Bogut. Just never gets any points unless he grabs his rebound or something and not playing great defense there against DeMarcus Cousins. Now that I've progressed my player a little bit, they're trusting me to bring the ball up the floor. And uh, got to give it to Louis Scola. He's hot early in this game. We are down uh, pretty early to the Sacramento Kings team. One of the worst teams in the league, actually. And my Houston team's being one of the best. Working the fast break a little bit here with Kyle Lowry, getting out on the break. Don't have a lot of speed, but sometimes if you play the defense right, uh, you can get some points out of it. And playing a power forward here, and this actually happens a lot in this game, and that's a big reason we struggle so much. We don't have any bigs coming off the bench, really. Uh, that make an impact. I think Patrick Peterson and Mike Harris, but they usually don't do too much, especially on the defensive end. And we are just struggling to keep up with this pretty young Kings team. And as you can tell from my shot percentage, I'm not doing too much either. Uh, playing this power forward position, I don't have too many plays designed for me that will get me the ball in a position where I can score. Uh, I've got some layup, but other than that, not doing too much. And playing some great defense here. Uh, I think it's Francisco Garcia. And then running the floor, I see the Kings are a little bit jumbled, so I take the three, hand in my face, get knocked down, but we will take that. Louis Scola once again working the post, making a really solid play, a little up and under, right to the basket. You see he's four for six with four rebounds already. Unfortunately, he will slow down on the offensive end, and that's going to force me to take over a little bit. Looking for Kyle Lowry to get him the ball, but... uh. Going for a pick doesn't quite work, but I'll take the little alley-oop layup. Kyle Lowry finds me coming off of the uh, botched screen and off the glass. Very pretty. Still unable to dunk, but I will take two points any way I can get them. And a mismatch here with Kevin Martin going up against Carl Landry. Landry is going to take advantage of that all day. We're playing with a four-guard, one-power forward rotation, and that just does not work. But Scola continuing to do work in the post. Love to see it when your teammates are doing something. And Aaron Brooks takes the ball himself, finds a little bit of space, and drains the three with the man in his face. Now we get the steal, working the break once again. Thought about the oop, I didn't think Kyle Lowry would be able to finish it, so I just give him the easy, uh, easy look and an easy assist. But we're still down big, and I'm still struggling a little bit on offense. And defensively, we just cannot do anything against this team. Landry goes up for a big slam. In the face of Chuck Hayes, and our egos are very hurt. But I finally got the ball at the top of the key, looking to make a little play. Shot clock is running down, so I find Scola. He finds me uh, cutting to the basket, and I finish on the layup. Got the lucky roll. It seems like when the offense isn't rolling, it's working just to get Scola the ball. And <laughs> Kevin Martin making a rare basket here. He surprisingly doesn't make that many shots. But use that glass and Bino Udra continuing to go to town on our lax defense. And, uh, trying to use this play here, get it set up a little bit. Got to give it to Scola. He's making things happen and he continues to make things happen. Making the tough contact layup. Whenever he's got the ball in his hands, it seems like something good happens. But running a post play with Jordan Hill, uh, I get a little separation from my man and I got to take that three. Cut that lead down a little bit more before half. But the Kings will go right back down to the post. 
finding a nice off the glass little uh, hook shot. But you see Brooks driving in here. Chuck Hayes thought it would have been hilarious if he had taken the three. He does not, but he takes it in with a nice hop step, goes off glass, and uh, shows him how it's done. The six foot six center. But I gotta get my stats somehow and working that defensive glass. Finding Aaron Brooks, who finds me once again, trailing behind. Too much separation for Jake Love. Gotta take that three. And I'm finally starting to have a good game, and we are now one point down. But look at this. Some terrible defense by uh, Aaron Brooks. On the break, Landry throws a nice layup in there. And probably could have taken that three, but get it down to Scola for hopefully some easy points. He takes it in himself, goes in, work on that post to perfection. One of the more consistent players on my team and finally having a good game, but Udrin just going to town inside, makes a tough contact layup. And he is playing like a superstar here, but get a little bit of good defense on Tyreek Evans. Haven't heard much of him. He's been... Held pretty quiet, but once again on the break, taking a deep three. I will take that. Rims it around. G moment of the game. Silky smooth release. The ball rattles around in the rim a little bit. And finally, Jake Love is starting to wet it. Waking up in the second half with a little bit of offense. With a weak post play in the on the defensive end it's continuing to be a problem with this team without Yao Ming we just don't have too much going for us but working the break I see Udra's playing a little too far up throw the oop to Jordan Hill he's not too consistent but he can throw it down when he needs to we finally got some some, ugh, some momentum on our side and uh, in the third quarter we're looking to continue to go to town but Tyreek Evans using one of those signature layups up and around a uh, tough shot but it goes in for him and you see him make those in real life even a lot of the time I'm working the break here, a little bit of contact, but I will take the two points on the fast break. Finally seems like we're starting to come together as a team a little bit, but a little too much Tyreek Evans. He takes a little step back jumper, gonna drain that for sure, his mid range is uh, pretty solid in this game. And then Garcia decides to finally step up, almost loses the ball. Really great defense by Shane Battier, but uh, not something that he will hit consistently. Now running this out pick play, give him a pump fake, thought I had a little bit of room, I found some space, take it in for the solid layup. I love having that inside outside game here with Jake Love, I started with uh, primarily the jump shots, but look at Tyree Evans throwing a sick fadeaway, hand in his face, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do, these all-stars just can't be held off for too long, and Francisco Garcia uh, sees Tyreek's fadeaway and says I can match that. Gives him another good one, uh, set up for another deep three, but give it to Chase Budinger, a guy that I love, C. Buds, takes it in himself on solid reverse layup, someone that I think deserves a little bit more playing time on this team, but we will use him sporadically as we've been doing now, and running the pick and roll here with Chuck Hayes, Chuck Hayes will take it in, soft finish, but I will take the assist. Now Caspi looking to uh, make a little bit of space, finds an open three, trying to get a little bit of redemption on this Kings team and pulls us within one point here in the third quarter. But with time running down, former Rocket Courtney Lee takes the three, hand in his face, I get the good shot defense. He just drains it. Everyone wants redemption on their former teams. And here a simple pickup gives me an open mid-range jumper and I will take that. Top of the key. Now I'm a little worried about that three-pointer, and Wright takes it in, finishes through the health defense, gets hurt on the play, but that was a great play to give Sacramento a big three-point play. It's really hard to mount a comeback when players like that are making plays, and uh, Francisco Garcia just doing some stupid crossovers in the center of the lane. Not looking too realistic, but gotta take what we can get, and trying to take a three. I think I got the foot on the line. But just trying to keep this game competitive, so hopefully we can at least mount a little bit of a comeback. And now looking in the post for uh, Kevin Martin, he finishes a tough layup, but we are still down big, and this certainly isn't helping. Tyreek Evans across the court pass to Francisco Garcia, who fades away on the fast break. And man, when that guy starts hitting, it is just nothing you can do so looking to make a little play here trying to get the rebound step out of bounds you hate those turnovers because there's really nothing you can do about it and now with the game on the line Aaron Brooks is taking some strange shots 
Luckily, Luis Scola cleans that glass up. We are still down 12, and it is looking like we are going to take this loss against a uh, not-so-great team, and Aaron Brooks certainly isn't helping the cause, throwing some wacky alley-oops late in the game. I was excited to get to play with him when I first got here, but he takes some strange shots and uh, doesn't play like a pass-first point guard like I would have preferred. Once again, trying to make something happen on the break and just throws an errant pass. No way we can come back from... Uh, the game anymore but just taking a deep three step back trying to make something happen get the hold ball too long but I will take that a few times a game if uh, Aaron Brooks if it means not having the ball in Aaron Brooks hands I finally do get that six three-point shots in a game objective so I'm trying to finish the game out strong hopefully get as many skill points as I can but that loss uh, down 200 skill points with that despite a strong game from me and a near triple double the lack of a defensive post presence was just too much for us. And when guys like Samuel D'Alembert are 7 for 7, uh, that's just not going to fly too much. Hard to win a game when the role players step up big like they did for this Kings team. You can see Scola had a decent game as well. He cooled down a lot in the second half, which made me take over. But there's not too much you can do. Kevin Martin, I'm sure, is not happy. He's not getting much playing time, and when he plays, he is not playing well. And here's the press conference. I forgot to record the question, so here it is. Coach has just indicated that you're now a starter at your position. How does it feel to have cracked that starting rotation? Answering with arrogance. Don't tell me you all didn't see this coming. I've been ready to start for a long time now. I really don't know why it took so long. I guess Coach is finally seeing how much I have to offer his team. Kind of strange I'm getting this now as I've started the past 30 games, but uh... See ya!